Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Aaron. I am the Brick Scavenger and today's video, I hope, is going to be super helpful for some of you. I acquire tons and tons and tons of Lego minifigures and sometimes I get a torso that I don't know what it is. I don't know what theme it is. I don't know where it came from. And identifying those torsos can be a huge pain in the neck. So if you ever find yourself in that situation, today's video is just for you. This is all about how, how to identify Lego minifigure torsos using BrickLink and a new app I wanna show you right now. Okay, so for today's video, I just wanted to show you, you know, this is a few examples I think will be very helpful to show you today. You might recognize some of these torsos, but just pretend you don't for the sake of this video. Okay, so we're gonna start with this torso right here. Okay, let's suppose that you get this and you're wondering, what is this thing? How do I identify it? Well, for the purposes of identification, here's what you're gonna need to know. You're gonna need to know the torso color, which in this case is dark red. You're gonna need to know the arm color, which in this case is tan, and the hand color, which in this case is yellow. So let's go over to the computer and see if we can identify this torso using those three pieces of information. Okay, so for the purposes of identifying, we're gonna use this website called figureitout.app, figureitout.app, that is not .com, it's .app. When you go to that, you're gonna see a home screen that looks like this. You're gonna click on this view minifigure tools. And then you're gonna have the option to search by the head, the torso, or the legs. In this case, we're gonna do the torso. I'll make a separate video on how to make, uh, do a search with the head or the legs. But for today's purposes, we're gonna start with the torso color. We said that was dark red. So I'm gonna go click on dark red, okay? We said the arm color was tan. So I'm gonna scroll down to tan. There it is. And I'm gonna to go to yellow for the hand color, okay? Then I'm gonna go down and hit this submit button down here. And when I do, this is gonna automatically take me to the BrickLink website and give me any minifigure torso that has ever been made with the combination dark red torso, tan arm and yellow hand. Okay, so let's hit submit. It takes me to BrickLink. Oh, and in this case, there's only one. And there's our torso right there. Okay, so from here, I could click over here on what minifigure it came from or what set it was found in. Okay, so my first example is a super easy one. Okay, if I hit minifigure, you can see that this came from a CMF Series 10 library. All right, so that's the general idea on how this is done. Uh, let's do a whole bunch more examples just so you can see different combinations that can pop up and how this can be an effective tool for identifying torsos. Okay, so by design, you get the general idea here on how to do this, but by design, the first one was super easy. There was only one example of Lego making a dark red, tan, yellow torso. But let's do another example. Let's say you find this one right here, okay? This one, I don't know if the color is gonna show up real well for you, but this one we're gonna call dark blue. That's the dark blue torso and it's got yellow arms and yellow hands. So let's see if we can find this torso using the same technique. Okay, so for our second example, we're gonna do the dark blue, yellow, yellow. And in this case, I'm gonna again go down to torso. We're gonna to go to dark blue, yellow, and yellow again. All right, so dark blue, yellow, yellow, and I'm gonna hit submit. All right, now what you're gonna find in this case is it doesn't take us right to the torso that we wanted because Lego has made multiple torsos with the combination dark blue, yellow, yellow. Okay, but you can easily look at the pictures and see that this first option right here is indeed the one we were looking for. Okay, so I can click on that. It was in one minifigure, I click on it. And in this case, that torso came from the series six CMF Highland Battler. Okay, so again, same concept, but you're not always going to find it be the only combination of, you know, uh, color schemes. So let's do another example, one that may have even more combinations, I'm sorry, more options, and I can show you how you can potentially solve that problem. Okay, so I've showed you two basic ideas on how to do this. Now, in some cases, you're not going to find 
that only a couple figures were made with a given combination. So let's move on to this one, okay? This one, you can probably tell what it is, but again, just pretend that you can't. This combination is going to be red torso. You Make sure you use the neck color. You might think of this as a blue torso or a yellow torso. It's not. Use the neck color or the color underneath the arm to use as your torso color. So this is red, red, and white. All right, let's see what we can find under the combination red, red, white. Okay, so here we are again on figuredout.app. We decided this one was red, red, white. All right, so I'm going to hit red. I'm going to go red again and white. All right, so there's red, red, white. Let's see what that gives us. All right, we submit. All right, now this gives us, I don't know if you can see right here, 33 options, which that isn't too bad to search through. You could probably search through these pretty quick and find that torso. But let's suppose it was 150 items and you're like, oh man, I don't know. I don't really want to search through that many. Is there anything I can do to narrow it down? Well, the answer is yes. So let's go to back to figureitout.app again. We're still on red, red, white, but check it out. You also have this additional terms option, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, this is not foolproof, all right? You might type in a term that doesn't make sense on this, but just as an example, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this very well. This, off, this looks like a clown, don't you think? All right, so I'm just gonna type in clown and see if that helps me on this. All right, so here I am, I'm gonna type in clown down here and then I'm gonna hit submit. So now I'm red, red, white with the clown. And I'm gonna hit submit. Oh, there you go. All right, now is this a little bit loaded? Yes, of course, I practiced this to make sure it would work. But the point is we just went down from like 33 options to one because of that. Now, if you just searched up here into clown, you're gonna find a lot of different things on BrickLink, right? But by the combination of red, red, white with that term clown, it helped us find the torso pretty quick, okay? Now, there are a few things that you need to be aware of. Let's talk about those. Okay, so if you are kind of paying attention, one thing you'll note is that I knew the names of the colors to help me search. And in some cases, that can be a lot harder than you might think. So as you become more and more familiar with BrickLink, as you become more and more familiar with the names of the colors, this is gonna get easy. But let's do one example of these that makes this difficult. I don't even know if Lego makes something, or I should say BrickLink refers to something that's called pink. <laughs> and look at this. There's lots of different potential shades of pink, right? So just as a quick example, this right here, this is bright pink. So this would be bright pink, bright pink, black, okay? This right here is dark pink. You're gonna to have to know the exact shade of pink to use this Figure It Out app. So as you are getting more familiar with it, it'll get easier, but at the beginning, you might have to fool around with this to try to figure out what the official color names are. Anyway, dark pink. This right here, these arms are magenta. Okay, so these are magenta. They don't even have the pink word in them. So those would be magenta. And this would be medium lavender. So yeah, it's a little bit of a pain in the neck, admittedly, but again, it's not that hard once you've sort of mastered the color schemes. But let's just do this one as an example. This is medium lavender, medium lavender, yellow. All right, let's see if we can find this sort of generic torso because there's no, there's no you know, skull on here that you could type in to help you find it. But medium lavender, medium lavender, yellow might help. Okay, so here we back are on Figured Out. We said this one is going to be going down to torso. This one is going to be medium lavender, medium lavender, and then yellow. Okay, no additional search terms on this one. Let's see what it pops up. And there's only two. All right, there is this one over here, obviously not the one that we were talking about, but here it is. So this is super helpful to help you find those generic city torsos, for example. Now, in this case, Legos made this one a lot. You can see it's appeared in 17 different minifigures. They're all city figs of some variety, uh, maybe a holiday fig or a town fig. But it gives you the general idea. If you're trying to figure out what in the world a torso might be, it can be super helpful for the generic ones uh, that don't have easy search terms for them. Okay, let's talk about a couple more 
another couple tips that I want to show you that I think you might find helpful. Okay, so here's our next one in the back. Those of you Star Wars fanatics may recognize this one, okay? So this is, let's just suppose you find this thing, you know, it's somehow you just know it's a Star Wars fig, but you still don't know what it is, all right? So let's take white, white, black as the combination and see if we can't find this thing. Okay, so once again, here we are on figuredout.app. We said this one was white, white, whoops, let's see, white and black. All right. Now I picked this one on purpose for a reason. I'm going to hit submit. Oh boy. Now we're up to 79 items. It's getting a little out of control here. Maybe I don't want to search through all of those. You can even see there's a second page worth of stuff here that I might not want to deal with. Okay. So let's just suppose I want to try to narrow it down even further than that. Let's go back to figuredout.app. One of the things you can do in the search terms is if I type in Star Wars you're gonna probably have this not work, right? I found no items. And what that means is BrickLink has not added the term Star Wars to describe that torso. But here, if you know this little trick, it can help. Instead of typing in tar Star Wars, how about you just type in SW, okay? For the sort of abbreviated version of Star Wars. Let's hit that. All right, here we go. So we're down now to 38. And here is all of the Star Wars torsos with the combination white, white, black. And that one had that vertical dark orange stripe on it right here. Here we go. All right, so now I've found this thing. You can see it's in two minifigures, right? Basically identical minifigures with different heads. But if I click on it, you can see this is the Republic Trooper. And so I have found the minifigure based on the torso combination with an added keyword. Okay, now I do want to continue this on. I know this video is getting long, so if you've made it this far, I appreciate you. But I'm just trying to give you as many tips as I can for using this thing in hopes that it will help you find torsos a little bit easier. So let's do the next example. Okay, so here we go again. We've done most of these now, but let's talk about this next one, this green one in the back, okay? You might run into a situation where you have a torso and it's missing a hand or it's missing an arm and you don't know what that color is and what a pain that could be trying to use figuredout.app. In this case, what about an arm that's two colors? This arm is green and yellow. What a pain. How am I supposed to do that? All right, well, let's talk about that. Notice that the torso is yellow. I don't know the arm color, and I do know it's yellow hands. Let's do that example. Okay, so here we are again, back down to torso. All right, now, you do not have to use all three of these search terms in order to find a torso. It won't narrow it down as effectively, of course, but you don't have to use them all. So in this case, we aren't sure which color is that arm. Is it green? Is it yellow? We don't know. Let's just do torso is green. Let's leave the arm color blank because we don't know. And let's do yellow hands. Okay, so now this may have a lot more options because this is going to now find any torso that's green with any arm color at all with yellow hands. But maybe it's not so bad, and let's hit submit and find out. So there's 65, which is kind of a lot, I understand, and there's not really anything on that torso to help me narrow it down more. But how long does it take to go through 65 pictures? Not that long, let's do it real quick. I don't see any, I know there's two pages. I see some forest men in here, I see some white armed figs in here, and I'm still looking for it. Oh, look, right here, how about this right here? That's right here. All right, let's click on this. There it is right there. That's the one we were looking for. Okay, I'm going to hit minifig. It appears to be some kind of pizza guy. Yep, it's a pizza guy. So this came from the Series 12 pizza delivery guy. All right. So again, you don't have to use all three of those search terms in order to find it. It's just going to have more options that you may have to search through once you hit that submit button. Okay, now let's do one more example so that you get the feel for this thing. Remember in the clown, we did red, red, white, but then we typed into the search clown, right? In this one, you might do dark red, tan, yellow, and then do sweater or argyle. That may or may not help you, something like that, right? On this torso, you might be able to hit belt or something like that, type into the search bar. Okay, now, 
obviously a spider, but let's just pretend this is just a bunch of white patterns on here. So this one is going to be super generic, right? Black, black, black. And Lego has made a whole lot of black, black, black torsos. I'll show you that in just a second. But keep in mind what this looks like. I'm going to show you one more thing that you can try to help narrow down some searches. Okay, so here we are again on figureitout.app. I'm going to hit this and I'm going to go black, 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 just to, sh just to start, okay? So black, 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 there it is. And I hit submit and you can see that, oh my gosh, Lego has made 196 torsos that are black, black, black combination. Okay, now you could just search through these, all four pages of it and try to find it. Obviously that's an option, but can we narrow it down? Let's go back to figure it out dot app. I'm still on black, black, black. Now, if there's some color on here that might be helpful. So for example, I know this is a spider. I'm not going to type in spider. Okay, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to type in the color and see if that helps me. All right. In some cases, it may. In some cases, it may not. Okay. But I'm just going to, instead of typing in, you know, some pattern or clip art or something that's on the torso, I'm just gonna type in the color white and see if that helps me. May or may not, but let's try it. I'm gonna hit submit. It was 196. Oh, wow, we're down to 28. Now it may or may not be the case that that pattern uh, was described by Bricklink as including the word white. So you may narrow things down and it may not help you, but it might help you. So now I'm searching through 28 of these right? I'm looking through. I don't see the one I wanted yet. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. So in this case, it did help me. Oh, there's another one. So be careful, right? This one is not the same one. It has a similar feel. It is not that venom. It's actually this venom. Okay. So make sure you're paying attention to all the little details, but hopefully just typing in a color in some cases may help you. You can see there have been three venoms made with this torso. This one here, this one here appears to have a couple of different heads and one with some spines coming off of it as well, okay? And then obviously you can go from there and see what sets they were in, things like that. So there's some examples. I could make this video a lot longer, but I'm not going to. It gives you the general idea on how you can use figureitout.app plus some kind of convenient search terms to help you identify Lego minifigure torsos. All right, guys, there you have it. That is how we use figureitout.app to go to BrickLink and help identify Lego minifigure torsos. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. We're going to make more tutorial videos on how to use BrickLink and just more Lego fun coming. All sorts of good stuff on the channel. Thank you very much for being here. We will see you next time.